Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools video series. Today's video, we're going to demonstrate the behavior of the inserts on your master track. Now you might be asking yourself, why are we doing this? Well, the reason is because the inserts on your master track actually do not work the same as your inserts from your regular tracks. We're going to show that today. So let's go ahead and Let's open the mix window. So we'll go window mix. So we have a guitars track that's a stereo audio track and we have a master fader track. So on our guitars track we have a couple inserts. We have an equalizer and a compressor. Now here's the difference. Uh, the inserts on regular tracks are pre-fader. This means that the signal hits the first insert, then the second, the third, you know, so on and so forth. And then it'll hit the fader, and the fader will control the output. The very last, um, the the fader will be the very last uh, gain stage of a regular track. So you could do anything as far as your inserts, but you would you would always have that fader there to control the the output of that track. Okay. Now, on your master fader, that's not the way it works. On your master fader your inserts are post fader. So whatever you said as far as your master fader, that signal will hit your inserts. So if you drive this master fader up, then you're hitting your inserts louder. Now if this master fader is soft, you're hitting your inserts softer. Let's demonstrate that. So let's start with the regular tracks. So I said, inserts are pre-fader, uh, meaning that the output of your inserts are feeding your fader and we can show that by simply pressing play and here I have a compressor plug in on my guitar track I'm gonna crank the output and you'll see that the actual level uh, on the meter will go up pretty obvious right pretty obvious so Basically, the last insert, which in this case is the compressor, is the one, or I guess the output of that compressor is feeding the fader. Now, another way to see that is that if I crank this fader up or down, um, this won't feed the first insert. That's another way to see it. Now, let's work on the master fader. Let's go ahead and add a compressor on that master fader. Let's just do, let's do another C1 compressor. I'm going to set the attack to um, 2 to 1, and then, sorry, the ratio to 2 to 1, and then that's there. Okay, so what happens here? I have a master fader, right? And here's my threshold. If we press play and I crank this master fader, I will be hitting this insert harder therefore i'll be compressing more okay uh, why because the inserts are post fader so the signal coming out of this master one fader it's actually hitting the inserts after coming out of the fader so it goes out of the fader hits the inserts and then it goes to analog output one and two let's give it a shot no, sorry let me set this compressor better okay so it is compressing a little bit right what if I crank it up? Compressing more. Then I take it back. Then if I keep pulling it down, not compressing anymore. And that's it. That's the difference. This is very important to understand because if you have inserts on your master fader track and you're riding this fader for whatever reason, you're going to be... Um, you're going to be modifying the input to this insert. So you got to be very careful with that, especially if you're applying compression. You know, sometimes we forget that and we automate the output or whatever, the you know, the, the master fader, and we don't know what's going on. And what's actually happening is that if I crank it up because I want more energy, right, and let's say I do like plus six or something during a certain part of the song, um, yes, you know, it might, it might sound loud, but it's actually also especially if you have a compressor on your inserts, you're compressing that more. So be careful with that. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, 
Master Fader inserts in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.